Hi, uh, welcome to this first video. I thought the best place to start would be by showing you how to export your character into Motion Builder using the FBX plugin. So I'll take you through what some of the settings do and which ones you'll actually need to export your character into Motion Builder successfully. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure the FBX plugin is loaded by coming up into Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager, and then here we can search for FBX wire. This brings up the plugin. This one's already loaded but if it's not you can just simply tick these to make sure that it's loaded and then it auto loads each time you run wire. We close that. Now when our plugin's loaded we can come over to file, export all. So this will open our export window. So at the top here we can set the path that we want to save the file to. And down here we can give it a name. So I have to use character name so I know which character is in the file and then a description so this is a Maya export and then a version number so this is version 1. We can change our file type to FBX. First option we're going to change is the current presets to Motion Builder. So this will set all the options that you need for uh, Maya Motion Builder pipeline. I'm just going to change a couple of these. So I'm going to go into Geometry. Smoothing groups you only need if you're in Max. Maya doesn't have smoothing groups. Split per vertex normals you only need if you're exporting to Motion Builder 2010 and earlier. This will keep all the hard edge information when you're exporting. Tangents and binormals we don't need in Motion Builder. Smooth mesh we're going to leave turned on. This is actually the smooth mesh preview settings that you have set on the mesh, not the poly smooth. So with smooth mesh turned on, it's only going to export the source mesh. So that's the same as having your settings at number one. If you turn this off, it'll use whatever preview settings you're currently using. So if you've got it set at 1, it'll export the low-res mesh. But if you've got the settings to 2 or 3, it'll test like the model and export the higher resolution mesh. We're going to leave this turned on so it exports the low-res mesh. Selection sets we're going to leave turned off. The sets in Maya and Motion Builder are different, so they're not compatible. We'll leave Convert to Null Objects turned off, otherwise this is going to convert all our geometry into null objects. You only really need this turn on if you just want to export animation from the scene. I'm going to leave Preserve Instances turned off to make sure any instances in our scene are converted to actual objects in the scene. Referenced Asset Content we're going to leave turned on. So this will turn any referenced assets into actual objects in the scene. We're going to leave Triangulate turned off because we don't want to triangulate our mesh. Convert NURBS surfaces we're going to leave as NURBS. I don't have any NURBS surfaces in this scene, but if I did, they'd export fine to Motion Builder, so we can leave those as they are. Animation, we're not actually going to export any animation, but I'm going to leave this ticked on for now, so that I can change some of the options below. So we're going to come down here to Deformed Models, make sure Deformed Models is turned on, and the skin, so it exports our skin weights, and any blend shapes we have in the scene. And we're going to come down to Constraints, make sure Constraints are ticked so at the moment this will export point aim orient parent and IK handle constraints so we'll leave that turned on but we're going to turn off skeleton definitions so this is the FBIK human IK skeleton definitions if you already have them set up on your character we're actually going to set these up in motion builder so I can turn this off because I don't need them now we can come back here and turn off animation so as you can see this grays out these options so you can't change them so you have to have it turned on to change them and then turn it off when you've finished we can come down, we don't want any of the cameras from the scene, we don't want any of the lights. Embed media, we only need to turn this on if we were going to export this file and use it on a different machine or on a different network where the file won't have access to the textures. So for instance, if you were sending this to another company, uh, you could use this to embed all the files and it will create a file name .fbm folder in the same location as you saved the file. So it won't make your file any bigger, it'll just give you another package that you can send to another company. So I'm now doing this all on the same machine, so I can leave that turned off. If you come down to Advanced Options, under FBX File Format, we can set what type of file we want to export. So we're going to do a binary file, and then in here we can set what version of Motion Builder we're going to export to. So I'm going to be using 2019, but if you were using a different version, you can set the version here to make sure the file is compatible with your version of Motion Builder. So with all the options set, we can hit Export All. That's going to bring up our warnings and errors dialog box. So the plugin uses errors and warnings to let you know if it ran into any problems during the export. The plugin will 
report an error when it comes across something that's going to produce an unexpected result in the file. This usually means that the file won't have exported properly. Um, so when you try and open it in Motion Builder, it won't actually open. There'll be something missing. So an error, you'll have to try and find out what the error is and fix it. A warning, on the other hand, is more a notification that something was converted in the file into a format that Motion Builder can understand, rather than an actual problem with the file. So if we turned off Smooth Mesh, it would have given us a warning telling us that it had to tessellate the model when it exported it, but the file will still open and work in Motion Builder. So then we can close that and switch over to Motion Builder and then File, Open, and open the file that we've just exported. And then we have our character ready to start using in Motion Builder. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and picked up a few handy tips. Let me know how you get on in the comment section below and feel free to add any questions. Don't forget to click that like button if you found this video helpful. And subscribe if you want to learn more about all things Motion Builder and Motion Capture. And I'll see you in the next video.